Right, just praying for this uh, Romanian Christian who's come up to us and encourage us. All his family and friends, protect you, Lord. Bring the angels up, Lord, and send the fire of the Holy Spirit down to his heart. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We welcome you this year. God bless you. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you, Star Prayer. We have come here to tell you the way to be saved. If you want saving, if you want to make it to heaven, if you want salvation for your soul, then it's so simple. God has made it so simple for a little child to understand. Because God wants all to be saved like his word says. And in his word it says all can be saved. No matter who you are, no matter what you have done, God will accept you just as you are. As long as you do this one thing from your heart and repent, change your mind and believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ because you need saving because like the Bible says in Romans 3 23 all have sinned and all come short of the glory of God we've all sinned I'm the chief sinner I don't mind admitting it sin is the violation of God's commandments well we have all done that the Bible says so and the Bible is the word of God and it's, the, and it's true every single word jot tittle is true so the wages of sin though is death that means hell but the free gift of god which god wants to give you he wants to give it to everyone according to his word is eternal life through jesus christ our lord for everybody that believes no matter who you are no matter what you've done jesus will accept you just as you are if you will from your heart believe what he did for us on that cross how that jesus christ died on the cross to pay the penalty for our lifetime of sin and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures just believe this in your hearts god bless you god bless you just believe this in your heart that christ died, died for you for your sin believe this in your heart and know it's true that jesus shed his blood for you for the forgiveness of all your sin all our sins he did it for all our sins he rose again from the dead out of that tomb and when you believe that in your heart and call upon jesus you will be saved saved sealed sanctified justified with everlasting life your name shall be written in heaven your name shall be written in the book of life You'll have a one way ticket to heaven and you'll go up in the rapture. The rapture is our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. He shall descend from heaven who shouts with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. And then we, all believers and all little children under the age of accountability, will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, in the rapture. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. And then this world is going to get a rude awakening. Then God, through seven years, called the Great Tribulation, God is going to pour out his wrath and his judgments upon this unbelieving, unrepenting world, which has turned its back on our Father, which refuses to, to acknowledge what Jesus Christ did for us on that cross. You need saving, you need forgiveness of sin, because without the Lord Jesus, you're going to hell. This is the truth, and love tells the truth. You need saving and forgiveness of sin, because the Bible is the word of God. It tells us that all have sinned. We all come short of the glory of God, and that there is not one that is righteous, no, not one. That there's no good person in the world, only the Lord Jesus, who lived a perfect, spotless, sinless life. He is perfect. He is the Lamb of God, which was given for the, for the sins of the whole world. Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried and he rose again on the third day as it is written. And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you're not afraid nor ashamed to say, I need you, Lord Jesus. I need, I need you. Forgive my sins, Lord Jesus. Thank you for dying on that cross for all my sins. And you know it's true that he rose again from the dead. And you say, come into my life, Lord. You will be saved. Save yourselves. You're not guaranteed your next breath, are you? Who is guaranteed to wake up tomorrow? And when you draw your last breath, you go into eternity, heaven or hell. And you have a choice. You don't have to make, end up in hell. You don't have to be one of the many who only find out how real hell is when you land there. You don't have to be one of those, if you will, but believe the truth. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. No man makes it to heaven, but through the Lord Jesus Christ.
Christ who said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Save yourselves. Oh, God is asking this one thing of you. Not that you work by being good or you earn it in some way. No, it's the free gift of God. Salvation is the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone according as it is written. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, but the wages of sin is death. So you need your sin removing as far as the east is from the west by believing the testimony of God's only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and what he did for us on the cross. Jesus shed his blood on that cross for you, for me, for, to pay our sin debt in full. That means your past, present and future sin. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. He did it for you, he did it for me. Whosoever will believe on him, Christ died for all our sins. And he was buried and he rose again on the third day as it is written. Just believe this in your hearts and you'll be justified before the great, terrible God of this whole world. And call upon Jesus' name and you'll be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Get on board the ark of salvation, because the ark is about to leave. When the Lord himself descends from heaven, with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and he take, snatches up into heaven all who have ever believed upon him in the rapture. And then sudden destruction comes down upon this world. Through, through the prophet Isaiah, God speaks and says, Behold, the, the Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down. This world is going to get a rude awakening, and it's going to be turned upside down during the seven year great tribulation apocalypse period. It's going to be hell on earth. The Bible says that hell from beneath is coming up onto the surface during the great tribulation apocalypse. And you're all in for a rude awakening unless you believe on Jesus. Because if you believe on Jesus, you'll be taken up to heaven in the rapture. If you don't believe on Jesus, you'll be left behind to face the great seven year uh, apocalypse period called Daniel's, Daniel's 70th week, Jacob's trouble, Revelation apocalypse. Do you want to be left behind for this? Because it's going to be terrible. It's going to be absolutely terrible. Hell on earth, that's what it's going to be like. First of all, all these people are going to vanish who have believed on Jesus. And all little children under the age of accountability will be snatched up to heaven in a rapture. And you'll find yourself left behind. And all anarchy and chaos will, be, will ensue. And that's why we're here to tell you how simple it is for you to be saved and taken up to heaven so that you don't have to be here for what is coming upon this world. The Bible says men's hearts are going to faint from fear when they see what is coming upon this world. The Lord Jesus said it's going to be a time so terrible, there's never been a time like it, and there never will be again. The great tribulation, apocalypse period, God is going to pour out his wrath and his judgments upon this world which has turned its back on him. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return unto the Lord and unto our God, because he will abundantly pardon and forgive Paul Rice is loving to you. I can't believe that people you just blindly walking over the cliff. Yes. Yes. Yeah, straight down to destruction. God doesn't want that. He loves you, you made in the image of God. Jesus loves you. Why wait until you're in hell before you realise how real it is? Jesus talked to us about hell. He said it's a place of outer darkness where people are weeping and wailing and gnashing their teeth, where the worm never dies, where the fire never goes out, that's only consumed with terrorists. That's hell. And if you reject the love of the truth, you can expect to find yourself going there. That's why we're here to tell you how simple it is for you to be saved. Simply by believing, that's it. It's the free gift of God. You don't work for it. You don't earn it. It's the free gift of God which you receive by faith, by believing on Jesus Christ and what he did for us. Because if any man says that he has no sin, he deceives himself and the truth is not in him. But if we confess our sin, Jesus is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we're calling God a liar. So, Jesus Christ was crucified to pay the sin debt in full on the cross for our lifetime of sin, past, present and future sin. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin as far as the east is from the west. He was buried in a tomb, but God raised him to life on the third day according to the scriptures. 
And just by believing that truly in your heart and calling upon the name of the Lord, you will be saved, sealed, sanctified, justified with everlasting life. The Bible says in the King James Version, you'll be, you'll be granted a mansion in heaven just for believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Except you repent though, except you change your mind and believe, you will all likewise perish. Please repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at stake. The kingdom of God is at hand. Lay hold of your salvation. There's a heaven and there's a hell. And your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus Christ will determine which one you spend eternity in. And that's why I'm here, to warn you of this place. So, if you land there, just remember, I, I warned you, I warned you, you reject the love and the truth and hell is where you're going. This is the truth of the word of God. I didn't say it, God himself said it. Except you repent, you will all likewise perish. Repent means a change of mind. You repent, you change your mind from unbelief and believe the good news that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everybody that believes, no matter what you have done. No matter how much evil you've done in this life, if you will repent, turn and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, how that Jesus died on the cross to pay the sin debt in full, our lifetime of sin, according to the scriptures, and he was buried, and he rose again from the dead on the third day, as it is written, Christ died for all our sins. He paid the penalty in full. His final words were, it is finished. The debt is paid in full, past, present and future sin. Jesus' blood, which was shed on that cross, pays your sin debt in full and washes you clean of all your sin, past, present and future. And all you have to do is reach out by faith and believe what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross. How Jesus died on the cross for all our sins and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day as it is written. Please believe Scarborough, time is short, Jesus is coming, accept the Lord today. Yeah, a bit sore for I'm really getting into it. It's just um, I love the Lord. I love doing this job. So thank you for your prayers, guys. I feel them working, you know. I can really feel the power of God working upon me. So thank you. I love you all. Can't wait to be with you in paradise. You know, it's been so lovely. What a change it will be. Very soon. <laughs>